Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Lee Fuge, and in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Crybaby Junior from Jim Dunlop. Over the years, the Crybaby Wah has been a staple on many guitar players' pedal boards. It's sort of the go-to wah for most guitar players. You'll be hard-pressed to find many players who've never experienced a Crybaby at some point in their career. The great thing with the original Crybabies is they're super robust and they're, you know, they're rock-solid workhorses that have sort of become the industry standard for a wah pedal. And also you can pick up the basic models for around about £60. So if you're someone who's just getting into wah, it's a really great place to start. Over recent years, pedals and pedal boards have started to actually shrink down and guitar players now are very very conscious about the size of the gear they're taking with them especially now that we've got a lot of things like digital modelers and bands are really trying to scale back the amount of gear they need to take on the road this has led to a lot of smaller pedal boards cropping up one of the big problems with the full-size crybabies is they don't fit on a lot of pedal boards and that's where the crybaby junior comes in guys at dunlop teamed up with pedal train to make sure that this fits onto even their smallest board so if you're someone who uses one of the Pedal Train Metro series, which are a very scaled backboard, this is the perfect size to fit on the actual pedal board. I'm also a Pedal Train Metro user and I've always historically had my wire on the floor next to the board because the original ones are just too big. So these are fantastic space savers. They did also do a mini version which is smaller again, but a lot of players didn't like the feel of the smaller one, they prefer the feel of the bigger one. So the Junior has been created to fill in that gap in the middle. With people needing to scale back gear for travel purposes, Dunlop have actually created this out of a lighter grade aluminium as well. So this is actually quite light even though it's still made in the rock solid aluminium chassis that you'd expect from a Dunlop wire. For the first time in the history of the Crybaby, there's also an LED light on the bottom of the pedal to indicate when it is switched on. Historically, they've never had LEDs to show you when the pedal is on, except in some of the special uh, sort of artist versions that you get out there. But this is really useful because we've all done it. We've all used the wire pedal and walked away while leaving it switched on to find our tone is completely altered. So this is really useful because if that's lit up white, the pedal is in the on position. And again, with the whole idea of smaller, tighter pedal boards in mind, they've moved the jacks to the top of the unit so you can really squeeze this in right next to other pedals and run the jacks from the top. And it's also run off a standard nine volt adapter, but there's also still a battery compartment on the bottom. So if you prefer to run your wire with a battery, you can still use the classic nine volt battery to power the pedal. So it's a very, very simple design. There's not a huge amount of tweakability on this, but there is one really cool feature. There's a three position toggle switch here on the side, which controls the sweep of the wire. When the switch is closest to the front of the pedal, it's a low sweep. In the middle, it's a mid sweep, and in the sort of the heel end of the pedal, it's a high sweep. This just controls the sort of the frequency range that's accented by the pedal. So the low is obviously the lower frequencies, the mid is more your mid frequencies, and the high is your high frequencies. So if you want to really fine tune your wire for a specific purpose, you've got that three position switch there to help with that too. The high position is great for cutting through in a busy mix, but if you want a really throaty wire, then flip it up to the low position and that would give you a nice sort of rounded, warm, vintage wah tone. And obviously the mid position is that little bit more mid-bumped, kind of quacky wah sound. If you compare the Crybaby Junior to the original style Crybaby, you can see there is a huge difference in size there. The new Junior is much more compact. It's the same width as the original one, 
so the actual foot plate is the same width uh, but it's just a lot shorter and it's a lot lighter this is way way heavier than this is so obviously in a situation where you're being very weight conscious perhaps you're building a pedal board to take on a plane this is a great option because it's probably at least half the weight of the original one so every sort of kilogram counts in that case so this is great for weight conscious players and obviously because it's the same width foot plate it will feel the same as this it's just a couple of inches shorter so you won't actually notice much difference in terms of how this pedal feels compared to the full size one so i'm going to plug this in now and we'll get a bunch of wah tones the guitar i'm going to be using for this video is my shergold provocateur which is plugged into the blackstar studio 10 6l6 which is also mic'd up the lewitt audio lct 440 condenser mic i'm running the amp completely clean for this and i'm going to be getting my overdrive from the tate fx antares overdrive which is on the floor next to the crybaby so start off with some clean tones now so here's how the wah sounds in the low range mode so this is accenting the low frequencies i've got the humbucker select in the bridge position of this i'll also change between the pickup options to get some different sounds and this also has a coil split on there for some single coil sounds <laughs> quite a lot of classic wah tones on offer there. I'm going to move now to the mid position switch. So this is going to get a little honkier, a little more mid rangey, great for some sort of quacky funk style wah. <laughs> Finally, in the high mode, this is going to accent the high frequencies a lot more. So it's a much brighter sounding wah. It's got a bit more top end cut. This is great if you want to cut through on stage in a mix. <laughs> So it's really versatile. You can go from like a real throaty kind of wah to a really bright cutting wah. It's really good with different pickup combinations there. The last two you heard were just on a single coil bridge pickup. But if I go to like a P90 for instance on the high setting, you're gonna get the warmth for P90 with a little bit of cut. <laughs> So it's super, super versatile as a clean wah. Now I'm gonna kick on the Tate Antares Overdrive and we'll look at some overdriven wah tones. So I've flipped the wah back to the low range position. So this is gonna accent the low frequencies. <laughs> So with an overdriven tone, it's really versatile. You get that nice kind of throaty low end that you're looking for, especially if you play a couple of riffs with wah, it's pretty cool for that. I've gone to the mid position now, so this is gonna get a little quackier. This is probably where you're gonna find the best use for guitar solos. It's not gonna be too cutting. It's gonna be enough of a mid push to really make those notes sing. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
Now onto the high frequency sweep. This is where we're gonna get a lot more top end, a lot more brightness. So this is perfect if you're playing in a band live and there's a busy mix going on on stage and you really wanna cut through, this will definitely make those notes poke through the mix a little bit more. <laughs> So there you go guys, there is the Jim Dunlop Crybaby Jr. That's a really cool, really versatile new offering to the Crybaby family from the guys at Dunlop. Now I'm really impressed with this. I've always wanted that kind of slightly smaller profile wire for the purpose of building small pedal boards. I myself have had that problem where, you know, the original one is just too big for the job sometimes, but I don't really like the feel of the super small ones. So the actual Jr. range is perfect. It's the right sort of just the right size to fit on any sort of small pedal board. It's great that it fits onto those pedal train metros as well, because personally, I always use my pedal train metro when I've got to put a board together to go to a gig that I can't take a lot of gear. Something like that's perfect because it's not always convenient to have to set up the wire on the side. Sometimes you need to just chuck the board down and go. So I've actually found myself a lot of times doing gigs without a wire where I've not just had, just not had time to set up, you know, it's just plug in and get to work. So something like this is a bit of a lifesaver in those situations where you do need a wah pedal. Tonally, I think it sounds great. There's a lot of all those classic wah tones in there from the sort of the low range throaty stuff to the mid range quack. And you've also got that high end bite in there as well. So it's a very musical sounding wah. Works great with clean and with overdriven tones. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this new crybaby junior i'd love to hear what you guys think i'm only down there if you did enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave something in the comments for me and i will see you guys very very soon thanks so much for watching